from Costco, and as crazy as it is, um, we picked the boys up from a beaver event they were doing, trying to get all the groceries in. This grocery haul was too good and too big to not film. Say hi. Hi. Liam got a Liam, come here for a second. Can you show everybody your giant goose egg you got while bowling? How did you get that? I slipped. You slipped because you weren't listening? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Life with boys. So I'm going to flip you guys around and show you the ridiculous amount that we got at Costco. This is what happens when A, you take your husband grocery shopping and when you only go with two kids and you actually have time to look at what's on the shelves. So here is what we got. It's a little scary. The scary part is this isn't even all we're gonna need for the week. Um, I still need to go to our regular little grocery store and pick up a few um, of the smaller things they didn't have there. So I'll start off, because this is gonna take us a while. Batteries, because remotes always seem to be dying all at the same time. A giant, is that 15 pounds? Yep, that is 15 pounds of potatoes. So we got 15 pounds of potatoes, holy moly. Um, two two pound bags of zucchini, some sliced cheese, oh there's glare back there. This isn't like that plastic wrap fake cheese though, it's like real cheese just sliced up. Um, two big tubs of cream cheese. Sorry, I can't put the baby down right now or he's gonna fuck. But this is um, ham there and it's like the nitrate free, yucky ingredient free um, meat there. Some deodorant for Larry. We've got blueberry bagels. There's another pack of bagels somewhere on the table. Some butter, some detergent because I ran out last week. Or last week. I ran out the, the other day, I guess. I've got some powder left that I usually use for the diapers, but I needed like good uh, clothing detergent. Some honey here. This wasn't raw honey, but it did say it was organic um, and it's Canadian, so we got that. Baby fingers in the way. Then we've got some chicken broth. There's six of the boxes in there. Some orange juice. Larry was super happy to be able to get orange juice this week. We just bought a second fridge, which means we actually have room to store orange juice now. So we picked that up. That was a really good deal. It was under $10 for those four boxes. We picked up five pounds of ground beef. We've got some wild uh, salmon there. We always make sure we get wild and not farmed. We've got some apples, some bread, Greek yogurt, broccoli. These, I've never seen these at um, Costco. They usually have them at, oh, where are you guys? At the grocery store, but there was butter chicken. And then we like this korma sauce, which is a cream and, what is that? Cream and coconut sauce. Oh, hello, baby's got the phone. So those were two for $6.99, which was a really good deal. Then we've got just some milk. A giant thing of parchment paper. We use this for at home, and I use it for work as well, so we needed some more of that. We've got some mushrooms. There's two packs of mushrooms. This Larry wanted. I'm not really sure what we're going to put it on, but it was a jalapeno uh, Greek yogurt dip, so we're going to try that out mustard because the kids went through all the mustard we had this week with our ham sandwiches another pack of cheese and then we ended up having to get some of this oh, can you guys it again? to get this um stainless steel cleaner the fridge we got is stainless steel and uh, we've never had to really worry about cleaning that before so there's of course fingerprints already all over we just got it friday and it's now sunday and it is covered in little hands so for all this, oh yes, and that purple bag is cat chow back there. So, now here's the scary part. For all this on the table, which hopefully will last us more than a week for most of it, um, came to, oh yeah, yeah, $342, oh that hurts to say, um, and considering we are not even done for the week. But like I said, like that detergent's gonna last us for a while, cat chow's gonna last us, the salmon's probably at least two weeks of salmon, I don't know. I think everything else on there. Hopefully those potatoes last us more than a week. But yeah, pretty much everything else on that table is um, a week's worth. Ay, ay, ay. So there you go, guys.